My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of this Cine Analysis Part 6 Angle and Angular Speed 4 Points tutorial, you will be able to perform angle and angular speed measurements using four points and generate a report file. Angle and angular speed measurements using four points measures the angle formed by two lines, line one, point one and reference point one, and line two, reference point two and point two, and the angular speed, which equals the measured angle divided by the time of the last point frame minus the time of the first point frame if the first and last points are on different frames. Using the PCC 2D analysis tool essentially turns your phantom camera into an extremely effective test instrument. However, you don't need a camera connected to the PCC software to perform measurements on your Cine files. So let's get started. Just as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 coordinate measurements tutorial, the first thing I need to do is specify the units of measure the units our measurements are going to report as. For details on defining the units of measure, review the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. I'm going to use the units of measure I used in the previous tutorial. I'm also going to leave the Unique Scale Per Application option disabled. For details on this option, see the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. We will cover the remaining other options later in the Cine Analysis tutorials. Just as I did in the Reviewing Your First Cine tutorial, I'm going to open the Cine I want to perform measurements on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the helicopter file. This will allow us to measure the angle of its trajectory, its speed, and the revolution of the helicopter. And just as I did in the previous tutorial, I'm going to apply the Edge Lap Sipian 3x3 edge detection algorithm to the Cine images and remove the color saturation to ease the measurement process. I could, if I wanted to, use the zoom function along with disabling the smooth zoom algorithm that is applied to the Cine images to help pinpoint a specified pixel on the helicopter that I would use during the measurement process. However, for demonstration purposes, I don't need the measurement calculations to be quite that accurate. Remember, each pixel I am off by during the measurement process will offset the result for every pixel I am off by. I will, however, select to zoom the Cine images 1.7 times its size by entering it in the zoom field and hit the enter key, and use the panel sliders to center the helicopter in the play panel. Unlike distance and speed measurements, where I needed to calculate a measurement scale, angle and angular speed measurements do not require it because the software calculates these measurements using the XY coordinates of the pixel selected. Since I'm going to perform angle and angular speed measurements using four points, I don't need to set a new origin point like I did when I performed coordinates or distance, speed, and angle measurements. So for this tutorial, I want to know the angle and angular speed in revolutions per second the helicopter has moved from a specific point. Therefore, I need to place a check mark in the active enable box to activate the options in the instant measurement area. Activating the instant measurement option allows me to select from the pull down selection list the type of measurements I want to perform. In this case, angle and angular speed four point measurements. This next portion of the tutorial is optional. Since I want to generate a report file of the measurements performed, I'll need to click on the dot 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 button to the right of the report file path data entry field. I'll need to navigate to the folder I want the report file to be written into when the open dialog window is displayed. For this report, I'm going to place an open report file into the C colon program files phantom cines tutorial cines folder. I also need to assign a name to the report file, so I'm going to call this report file AS4PT1 for angle, speed, 
four points, test one, and click the open button. Now I'll need to enter the report file's header information in the Setup for Measurement Report File dialog window. So I'm going to title this report as AS4PT1. In the Analysis field, I'll enter my name, Frank Mazzella. In the Station field, I'm going to enter Camera 1. In the Camera field, I'll enter the model of the camera that captured the Cine, in this case, the Phantom V7 III. And in the Lens field, information about the lens used to capture the Cine. In this case, a 1 to 2.8 Sigma zoom 24 to 70 millimeter with the f-stop wide open. Then click the OK button. Notice, this software displays the path of the open report file in the Report File Path Data field. I'm also going to enable or check the Query for Comment feature. Just to demonstrate it, the system is going to prompt me to enter in a piece of information about the measurement every time I take one. This is an optional feature and is not necessary to generate a report file, much like creating a report file. I don't need to do this to take measurements. OK, let's do some measurements. With the Cine advanced to the first image I want to perform measurements on, I need to click the center of the target on the fuselage, or point 1. Then click the center of the target on the tail of the helicopter, reference point 1. Notice, the software placed a magenta line indicating the two points just selected over the image. Now I'll advance the Cine a few images. Now I need to select the second reference point. I'm going to click the same target on the tail of the helicopter. Then select the point 2 target, the same target on the fuselage of the helicopter. When the Comment for Measurement dialog window appears, I'll enter a comment about the measurement I just took. In this case, I'm going to type in 4 point angle measurement example. and click the OK button. Now I'm going to reset the image size so that it fits the plate panel so that you can see that the software displays two lines in magenta. If these lines were infinitely extended they would intersect creating an angle. Notice the software displays the angle the helicopter was point 0.1 to reference point 0.1 to what it is reference point 0.2 to point 0.2 and the angular speed, or revolutions, at which it has moved and reports the results in the result field. I could have advanced or rewound the Cine and taken the measurement. The system would calculate it regardless of the direction I moved the Cine. So that's how we can calculate the angle and angular speed four points with the PCC software. Before we finish, I'm going to reset the image processing techniques back to default and disable the query for comments and instant measurements. We'll take a look at the report file in part 9 of the Cine Analysis Tutorials, reviewing the report files. So that's how easy it is to do angle and angular speed four-point measurements with the PCC software. For in-depth Phantom Operations, Vision Research offers Phantom Operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom cameras in general.